This is for my Scorpio, January 9th. Love reading, love reading, love reading for Scorpios, January 9th. want to see what spirit wants to guide us with overall energy is high priestess cancer water sign pisces scorpio high priestess is intuition get in tune with your, intu with your intuition ten of cups Five of pen. Whoa. Mm. Alright. Somebody has a family, but yet feeling isolated. So they're going to leave the situation and get a higher authority. Got the Ten of Cups, but yet feeling isolated. How do you have Ten of Cups and feel isolated? I know. No love. Scorpios. My sensual sign. Two of Wands, getting out there. Progress, discovery. The hair fonts. High authority. Clarify. Mm. So somebody's doing a lot of fighting here. And realizes it. It got some type of realize... Got some type of judgment. Let me close my window. People getting off of work acting crazy. Give me a second. <laughs> I go with my mood now. Yeah, so somebody definitely realized something and gained a lot of strength from it. Because we have the Leo card. So you could be dealing with a Leo here, Scorps Scorpio. Also have the Fool card here. Somebody got some strength after feeling like they were child left in a dizzock. Fool, new beginnings. Take that leap. Take that step. Open minded. Not afraid to do it. Kind of like Page of Cups. So clarify this five of wands, judgment, strength, the fool. Oh, who was I just talking about? Page of Cups? Five of Cups? Yeah, okay. Temperance. Somebody's trying to weigh something out here. After they realized their Ten of Cups was broken down now. Somebody's trying to weigh something out with this Temperance card here. Temperance could be dealing with a Libra. See how they got the crown in the back? They want that, but they're trying to weigh something out. Page of Cups. Just talking about her. It's kind of like the food card. Creative. To me, what I what I just heard Spirit say, somebody is not listening to somebody's decisions. Somebody has an idea. Scorpio could be your girlfriend, mother, aunt, boyfriend, cousin, brother, sister, family member, co-worker. Somebody has an idea and somebody is not work. Somebody's not listening to it. Or they're trying to weigh it out. Somebody has a family related somebody. Look at back at the cups. Look at what I lost and look at what I have. Five of cups could be dealing with a water sign. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. So this is you, Scorps. Very emotional here. Very sensual. I'm just trying to think what I get. Hangman, realization. Let me just see what I take from this. My incense is burning like crazy. You guys, energy is high. Do you see that? Wow. Yeah. I'm going to clarify. Somebody is definitely not listening to somebody. This person has, after they felt isolated, they try to take a step out to get some higher guidance, yet still has some type of 
miscommunication. Scorpios, please let me know in the comments if this is resonating for you. High Priestess, yeah. This is you guys right here. Ten of Pentacles. Intuition. A go-getter, a guy who knows. That's kind of like higher spiritual, king of swords. Somebody you could go talk to about something. Two of Pentacles, still trying to weigh something. Somebody, I don't know, this card is kind of sneaky to me. Got boats all flying up in the air in the back. Two of Pentacles. This could be the little earth sign. Ten of Pentacles. Somebody is juggling something here with a family and people have things that they're trying to do and nobody's listening to their intuition. So people are sitting here being stuck. Trying to weigh things out. Because this is they want the Ten of Pentacles. You know, Ten of Pentacles. First card I pulled was what? Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups is emotional. It's water sign. That's you, Scorps. So you guys want the Ten of Cups. You guys want the family. Either you're not listening to your soulmate, your family members, or something about... Oh, let me... Is my window closed? I apologize for the noise in my background. Let me try to talk over it. Somebody is not paying attention to your goals or Scorpio. You're not paying attention to somebody else's goals. Let me clarify one more time. You see how he's weighing out his options when he's still weighing it out up here? Need to get it together now. Clarify. King of Cups, very emotional, very emotional. A man who knows about his emotions. Manifesting. Page of Pentacles. Eight of Cups leaving that situation. Wow. Manifestation, new career, goals. Somebody, I told you, somebody has new career goals that they want. They've been, and they want it, and guess what? They're going to go because they have been trying to talk about it. Eight of Cups, it's a lot of cups coming up now. Walking away, disappointed, hurt. I'm going to clarify. Let's clarify with the guardian angels. Guardian angels, please allow for me to see spiritual messages that I need to see for Scorpios. Scorpio spiritual messages that they need to hear regarding their love life in January 2019. Overall spiritual messages. Oops. That's not what we're going to do. This card did fall out though. Guardian of action. It's time for you to take a step up and be the leader. Your natural leadership skills are being called into action. This is your moment in the sun. So move it to the light and shine. Scorpios. Leave whoever wasn't giving you attention. Leave who who leave whoever was not making you feel like the leader you are. Because there's a lot of cup signs here. This card popped up. Ten of thought. A situation that has been troubling you has come to an end. And you can breathe as a side to end. You know, this is kind of like this card. You see what I mean? They're in the house. It's not, it's not like they're in the forest or two people hugged up and loved. They have two people at the door. This is a house they was in. Somebody else is taking her or she's leaving out with somebody else. This is a home that you thought was a home. Okay, let me pull these cards. Just tell me the cards. Let's put them in there. Spirit, 
messages do you have for Scorpios, my lovely Scorpios, beginning of the new year? Out with the old, in with the new. Ha <laughs> ha, I cannot tell you, I cannot tell you, leave this person. Heaven is showing you a sign that it's time to move into a new direction. Often this is because you're not happy and feel a lack of purpose in your life. This is a wake-up call to make changes that match your heart desires and spiritual paths. Truths. Out with the old, in with the new. Please, don't allow anybody. It's a new year, folks. Nobody can bring you down but yourself. Coming from somebody who has been in a horrible relationship, Scorps. You do not want this ace of abundance. Wonderful news. A wonderful resources coming your way to help you with your plans. Yeah. You have people coming your way to help you with your plans. So once you leave and do that action, you will be just fine, Scorps. Ten of Thorpe came up again now. Situation that has been troubling you has come to an end. And you can breathe with a sigh of relief. With the challenging times behind you. Because guess what you was doing? Being isolated, left out of the supposedly Ten of Cups. What was the last card? Walking away from it. It has come to an end. It is important to fully, to fully let go at this juncture. Someone in your life may now be finally free of his or her addictions and codependency issues. Codependency issues. Codependency issues. What does that mean? Waiting for somebody to bring in a check because you're laying in there all day depressed. Get out there and make your own check. I hate to say it that way, but that's just the way spirit wanted. Out with the old, in with the new. You, The next relationship you get in Scorpio, you're going to be the ace in that relationship. You're going to be almost like the manpower. You know, you're going to be the one with the bread, with the bucks, with the car. Seeing clearly popped out. Okay? It's time for you to view things from a different perspective. You have a blessed gift to see the past, the current situation, and amazing possibilities. Don't worry. The pause... While you rethink your plans, won't last. Embrace your uniqueness. So embrace the fact that you're unique. People love you. You're Scorpios. And get out there and realize who you are again. Instead of being up all underneath this person who's making you have new opportunities you're not listening to. You're left out in the cold for isolation. And you got to leave them. Because you're trying to make it work. I'm going to pull one more. So let me I'm gonna pull a romance card. Romance angels. Romance angels, please allow for me to see spiritual messages that lovely Scorpios need to hear regarding their January the 8th love relationships, feelings, emotions, work related. Please allow me to see religious factors. Your love life is being influenced by religious factors, by religious upbringing and spiritual path. Spiritual path. Once you unblock whatever path is blocking you, things are going to come together. True love. This is the romance of a lifetime. Maybe that's why it's all of this heavy energy here. You know. These people, look how he's kissing her. She's leaning back into his arms. True love. I mean, you have the Ten of Cups there. You had a lot of emotions in this reading here. Separation. Mm. See, it's your true love. You guys know that. You have the cups there. However, you're not doing what you want to do or the other person is not completing their task. Separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. He's over here holding on her arm. Angels are looking at them. Separate for a little while, Scorpio. I'm getting the chills. Separate for a little while, Scorpios. The love is there. Okay, one more card. Make the effort. Make work. Mm. Here we go. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Spirit. Make that effort and leave. You leave, it's going to come back. It's there. What the, What's that old saying? If it's meant to be, it come back around, right? And it will. But you can't have it and be feeling left isolated when you know you you had you ain't love. It's there. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. You're guided to take religious factors. Your love life is being affected by your religious upbringing. 
worth taking the steps you're guided to take. So I'm, I'm hearing get back on a spiritual path and listen to those guides that you're supposed to take. Because right now, I'm not feeling like you guys are too spiritual. Or at least your, your, your partner, somebody is not feeling the way you feel. And I know as a, as a water sign, you guys have feelings. Okay, Scorpios, I love you. Please let me know in the comments if this resonates for you. If it does not, hopefully, I don't want to say it will, but if it does in the future, at least you will know ahead of time how to make these things change up. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and I will be back. Maybe in a couple of days to do another video for you guys, just because I'm really concerned about this right here i want i want better days it's a new year for scorpios let's let's make this happen bye